Hello friends, hope you all are doing well and watching my videos. How is your tally practice is going? If having any confusion regarding any videos, please write in the comment box. I will try to give answer in my next video. Now without wasting any time, let's start with my new topic. Now let's talk about stock items in tally.erp9. Stock items are goods that you manufacture or trade which is sell and purchase. It is the primary inventory entity. Stock items in the inventory transactions are similar to ledgers being used in accounting transactions. Therefore, stock items are important in an inventory just as ledgers are important in accounting. Stock items in tally can be created by two methods that is single stock item and multiple stock items. So let's talk about single stock item creation. From the initial screen of tally that is gateway of tally choose inventory info Next screen, you need to choose stock items. Under single stock item, choose create. In next screen, single stock creation, enter the required details. Name, enter the name of stock item. Alias, it can be short name of stock item or another name or product ID under enter the stock group under which this stock item to be specified category enter the stock category of stock item units units of measure to count the stock item opening balance enter the opening balance of stock item and enter the quantity of stock item rate when you are entering the rate values for stock item a new window opens as shown in the screen you need to update the required details such as go down you need to choose go down from the list of go downs rate enter the rate of stock item per and amount values are automatically calculated based on quantity and rate amount after entering the required details press enter to continue choose yes to save the details in tally.erp9 now let me explain the behavior portion Costing method. This is the method by which stocks are valued. The value arrived at will be the stock value in the books. This method considers purchase cost only. Next, market valuation method. This method considers the sale price only for the valuation of stocks. The method selected is not however used for standard reporting. Next, ignore difference due to physical counting. This requires you to enter information on whether tally.erp9 should automatically account for stock difference by passing an appropriate entry or not. Next ignore negative balances this requires you to enter information on whether tally.erp9 should warn you if there is a negative balance this however does not prevent you from entering vouchers next is treat all sales as new manufacture this requires you to enter information on whether on entering a sale voucher 
the item will automatically be manufactured and brought in stock. Next is treat all purchases as consumed. This requires you to enter information on whether on entering a purchase the item is automatically issued from stock. Next, treat all rejections inward as scrap. This requires you to enter information on whether the goods rejected and taken into stock should be shown as issued and hence valued nil. That's it guys. Thanks for watching my videos. Keep supporting me like this. Please share my videos with your nearest one. And don't forget to subscribe my channel to get the regular updates. You can click on the info card to watch my previous videos or you can click on the playlist from info card to know elaborately.